Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about some tips I have for you for this coming maths GCSE. So let's get straight into it. First tip is to use all of your time. Usually I go back and redo every single question in the exam if I have spare time at the end because you can always find some silly mistakes that you made during the exam and it will really save you some extra marks if you do find those. Another tip is to answer every single question. There's no point leaving a question blank because that's just no marks. If you answer the question, you at least have a chance of getting a mark. Third tip is that if one method doesn't work, try another because there's a chance that that might work as well. This one usually applies to science, but a graph that looks curved will be curved. So draw a curved graph. And the graphs that are usually curved are usually the cumulative frequency graphs. So if it's cumulative frequency, it will be curved. When drawing anything in a math paper, make sure you draw straight because examiners can discredit you if it's not straight, if it's supposed to be a straight line. But don't constantly try to redraw it if you get it wrong or get it wonky because then it looks really messy and maybe the examiner won't be able to see it properly, make, making you lose marks basically. Furthermore, don't spend too much time on a question that seems impossible because it's just going to waste your time and you're not going to be able to answer the questions that you can actually answer if you spend all your time doing that. So that's just more loss. That's more marks lost. Another tip is that on some questions, they will not put the unit. So you need to make sure to get the unit in yourself as well because it can get you an extra mark in a lot of questions. We will be getting an equation sheet in we will be getting an equation sheet in this exam but when you are using an equation write it down on the page so that you don't have to be looking all the time into the equation sheet and i'm pretty sure this saves a lot of time furthermore as i said we are getting an equation sheet so if you're revising equations right now please stop because you don't need to finally in show that questions in which there will be a lot of in the exam Make sure you identify every single aspect of how you got that answer so that you can get every single mark possible. That is all of the advice that I can give you. Good luck and make sure you subscribe and like for more advice videos on the upcoming exams.